What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, JD, and Activision Blizzard. Oh, my goodness. You're probably, if you're clicking on this, you're probably, you are one of two people. You're like, man, you were late to the party. What the hell are you doing not talking about this earlier? And two, what the hell are you talking about? Activision Blizzard is currently under investigation by the state of California for allegations of sexual discrimination, mistreatment of employees, a lot of different things. Activision management like J. Allen Brack, he said that this is extremely troubling and we don't know what they're talking about. And then you had another executive, I forget her name, Townsend. She's like, it's old news, so why does it matter now? Those things created an employee walkout because people at the front lines were not happy about those responses. They clearly were not listening to the employees. They were just tossing those allegations to the side and telling those executives who were being accused of sexual misconduct to say, stop, stop doing it. You're getting in trouble. Stop doing that. That's what upper management was doing. Instead of actually holding people accountable, doing the right things, firing their behinds and getting them to freak out of the company so that the train can keep going forward. It's completely halted right now. They had their work out. The big question is, what is Activision going to do about this? There's an article that has been released by Jason Schweier a few hours ago today. And we'll go ahead and go over that real quick. Kind of go over a couple of things that we have seen, if just in case you haven't seen it. But I'm sure you may have seen it by now. But another article came out that something went down in 2018 involving an IT worker doing something ridiculous. It's insane. It's nasty. We'll go over it. The video game industry is still reeling from California's explosive lawsuit against Activision Blizzard last week, which accused the publisher of allowing sexual discrimination and harassment. In the days that followed, current and former employees, mostly at subsidiary Blizzard Entertainment, shared on social media their own harrowing stories. This week, workers took action. On Wednesday, Activision Blizzard employees held a walkout taking the day off to protest the company's defensive response and to call for more equitable treatment. The list of demands include an end to forced arbitration and the installment of a diversity task force. Hundreds of people turned up to show their support at Blizzard campus in Irvine, California. So we'll pause real quick, uh, just in case you don't know what arbitration is. Essentially, arbitration is if you have an issue with something that's happening in the company instead of getting a lawyer and have the lawyer uh, represent you and go through the process like you should go through it um, the company wants you to deal with whatever massive issue there is in-house they don't want this to get outside the company that's what it is it's fairly standard with a lot of companies now where if there's any massive issues they want you to keep it in-house which you know depending on what kind of company you're working for or what you're doing if it shouldn't be a big deal, well, you shouldn't have to get to arbitration. It should never get to that point. But we've seen things come through and some things go down. But will the company listen? Blizzard said it would give participating employees paid time off, which raised some eyebrows. After all, is it really a walkout if it's endorsed by the company? When asked if Activision Blizzard would heed workers' demands, a spokesperson sent over a generic response. We know there are a variety of topics that need to be considered. A spokesperson for the employee group that organized the walkout says the company has been holding sessions to make people feel heard, but that management hasn't acknowledged their demands. Collective labor action remains rare in the North American gaming industry because there are no unions. If Activision won't come to the table, Blizzard workers may need to take more drastic action. Could we finally begin to see video game labor making traction on organizing? So that was the article. Essentially, the walkout is done, but what is management doing? And based on what they've gathered so far, essentially nothing. They heard what they had to say, and they're trying to just move forward with this train with no action being done. We have no one stepping down. There has been no announcements of terminations. We have heard none of those things since this has come out. Remember, in here, let me show you something real quick. You may not know who these individuals are, but a lot of these individuals are management, senior management, HR. Some of these people work for Deviation Studios, uh, Riot Games, like they've kind of branched out. All these people, they essentially have power. And a lot of these people are still working with these companies today, days after this stuff has come out saying that, oh man, the Cosby sweep does not exist. Here's a receipt 
buddy. Here's another one. This is a conversation. This they called this the BlizzCon Cosby crew. Dave's like, I'm gathering the hot chicks for the cause, bruh. And here's his name, Alex Afrasabi. Bring him. Corey's like, Greg, you on the way? Dave's like, you can't marry all of them, Alex. Alex is like, I can. I'm Middle Eastern, whatever the freak that means. Jesse's like, you misspelled the F word, meaning that you can't marry them all. You can't F them all. Greg's like, at Hilton Bar, Jesse's like, come up to the cause, bro. Like, really? And they're like, man, these allegations are false. We don't know what they're talking about. Have no clue whatsoever what they're talking about. Just in case people are still thinking this is not happening at Activision Blizzard, here is something that just came out publicly. This is something that went down in 2018 where the IT worker actually pleaded guilty to do it. But yeah, you know, these allegations are old and doesn't matter. No, nah, not at all. Activision IT worker secretly filmed colleagues in the office bathroom. An Activision IT worker pleaded guilty to mounting a camera under the sink in a matter to point at the toilet in 2018, court records show. In 2018, a former Activision Blizzard IT worker installed cameras in the company's Minnesota office bathroom with the intent to spy on employees while they used the toilet, according to court records reviewed by Waypoint and local media reports from the time. The employee, Tony Ray Nixon, pleaded guilty to interference with privacy, a gross misdemeanor, and was given a suspended prison sentence. He later allegedly violated his parole, requiring him to take sex offender treatment as directed. Nixon worked for Activision Blizzard. He worked in Minnesota, where the company maintains a building that focuses on quality assurance. There's a lot more to this. It breaks it down in detail. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to read more. Activision's got a lot of work to do. They got a lot of ownership. They got a lot of accountability. Something needs to happen. This is absolutely insane. The fact that they are denying these claims and there are receipts out there and things are still coming out to this day of things that are happening that were probably like within Activision, but it's coming out. That happened in 2018. That was what, three years ago. But yeah, we're not concerned about sexual harassment here at Activision Blizzard. Get the out of here, bro. Get out of here with that. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's have a conversation down below. Leave a comments. Let me know what you think. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think Activision is going to do anything? Because currently, and this is after everything has gone down, you see how it dipped right here. It took a big dip. And that, that was the point. That point was when Bobby Kotick made his statement, but he only did so because his market share was going down, down, down to the ground. It kind of rebounded. I wouldn't say that's much of a rebound because a rebound means you're going back to where you started. But now, nah, and it's starting to decline a little bit more. Me personally, I don't own, I don't think I own any, well, no, that's a lie. I do own some Activision Blizzard games. I'm not playing any of them and neither should you. If you're playing them, you're saying it's okay that they continue to get abused. You may have a monetary obligation to play. Okay, fine, whatever. You do what you want to do. But if you have the option to play something else, I highly encourage you do so because we should not be supporting companies that allow discrimination, who will allow harassment to go down. That's absolutely unacceptable for it to continue to happen and no accountability to happen to this day after everything has gone down with all the receipts that have been presented to the Internet. There's no reason to be playing anything at Division Blizzard or Ubisoft for that matter. I'm not playing any of that junk right now until change is made. So that's just my opinion. I'd love to know yours. Leave your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that thumbs up for more content like this. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.